Oh, you're kidding me. Is it overheating? It is. It's getting hot already. Yeah, this car got problems. Real problems. Oh no, that's the transmission. That's the transmission. Yep. That's a damn turkey. All right. It died in the middle of an intersection. Scoot back. Oh yeah. She is pissed. What you swizz and deals? We back at it again with another live video, y'all. No, 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 no. This is my channel, but this is Lucky right here, man. Go check out Lucky's Wheels and Deals on YouTube and on Instagram. I have links in the comment Yay. section, in the description. You gotta check out his intro, man. It's a lit intro. Yeah. It's, a, it's an old school song from E40. Most of you probably <laughs> won't even remember it. Go check out Lucky's Wheels and Deals on YouTube, guys. And if y'all wanna know how to make some money, man, y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Lucky's Wheels and Deals on YouTube, man. I keep stuff lit always. But shout out to my boy Randy over here for showing love. Yay. All right, guys, so we're here at uh, Insurance Auto Auctions right here with another one. We just picked up this 1997 BMW 528, and we got it literally for $120, or no, sorry, $175. It was $175, and I know you guys want to know about the fees. Okay, so it was $300. Oh, I didn't even see this. There's no door handle. Oh, man. Wow, okay. I didn't oh. see that in the picture. <laughs> hey, someone probably did oh. it off, you know? I Man, so I guess you gotta remember to keep the keep the window down so you can hope yeah, this works. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh oh it's got a sticker, a yellow sticker on the inside. ITS, what is that? Quality the quality team? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. So it was $305 out the door. Obviously sight unseen because they don't let you look at the cars anymore. It looks like we got an issue with the window regulator and or motor over here. What kind of rims? These are not BMW rims. AC. I don't know what that says. <laughs> the tires look... I mean, I think the tires are okay. Um, the paint is awful, which is typical of a BMW from this generation. I need that uh, 399 or 299 yeah. special. Yeah, we may have to go to Mako, which I learned about Mako's deal from him. Like hey, he's watch my Mako video. Yeah, if you haven't seen him. Watch my Mako videos. You man. gotta check out his Mako videos, man, because that's how I found out about Mako myself. Yeah. So okay, the body for the most part is pretty good. Is it another one? Are you kidding me? No, I think that window's rolled up, but this one isn't. So one of these windows definitely got a problem. I think a paint job though, the body looks to be pretty good. Pretty it's listed as a run and drive, and we don't know if it runs and drives or not. They brought it out here and dropped it right next to me. Uh, so we'll have to fire it up in a minute, but let's let's figure out what heat, the, oh, the windshield's cracked too. All the way across, great. Right. So that's a windshield right there. Uh, the interior, Let me open it. I don't even know where it's at. BMWs are very well known. European cars in general are known for the interior sucking. Uh, they're usually real bad. The door panels fall apart, the seats fall apart, the headliner falls apart. But truthfully, are you kidding me? Is this window down? Yeah, it is a little bit. Truthfully, guys, like the interior actually looks pretty good on this. Oh, the regulator. That's a bad regulator right there. Maybe, so we got like two motors, two regulators, but for $300, if it drives, that's the thing. We Maybe. don't know if it really runs and drives. The seats are in pretty good shape. The interior looks to be in pretty good shape. Headliner is in good shape. The body's in relatively good shape, aside from needing paint. You put a fresh black paint job on this, and I don't, I don't know what these rims, uh, here's what the rims look like right here. It, what's that? It's not wrecked. And we're uh -huh. the insurance yeah, yeah, It's not wrecked. That's a scary thing. That's <laughs> that is. A scary thing. Yeah. It's not wrecked. I'm looking for the body damage. I don't no. see the body damage. Why is there at the insurance option? It's a clean title. It's a charity donation. Listen. And those are, that's a mixed bag, oh, man. man. I sure hope it works out for you. I hope it works pray, out hey, too. I'll pray for him, man. Pray for him. I'll pray for him, man. We'll, we'll see. I've been, I've actually won this car three weeks in a row. Uh -huh. And the last couple weeks I won it for $300. Oh, okay. And this time I won it for $175 and they let it go. It makes no sense. It'll be worth the fixing. Yeah, assuming there's nothing, 
that much money into it. Yeah, at this point, it doesn't even matter. We'll pop the hood. I hope there's a... Uh, uh, so you'll have to pull it while... <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we got a jump point under here. Please tell me it's not in the trunk because the battery's completely shot on this. Okay, that'll be the ground. And... No? No, I'm uh, I don't know wait, wait, wait. What is this? What is... That's just a random bolt sticking out of the intake. That's got to be... So that has to be a ground. That could be a power? We're going to find out. I'm going to hook a booster pack to it and turn it on and see what happens. Yeah. If it blows it up, it blows it up. <laughs> yeah, I got a booster pack laying, uh, laying on the floor over there. Oh, wait, hold on. Is the... Are the lights coming on in here? No, it's dead. It's yeah. dead. Yeah, there's nothing on in here. Nope. It's supposed to run. So I, I really, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to start up. God, I, I hope this is where you actually are supposed to jump it. I think so. I yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise, it would have come on and said uh, it's reversed. Okay. Check the fluid yet? Or? No, I didn't check the fluid. It's got spider webs under it. Let's see. <laughs> It's full of oil. So it's got oil. Where's the coolant at? You gotta go for a ride in this one. Where's the coolant? Uh, oh, right here. Yeah. Uh, no. I don't know. Can you guys see down in there? Yeah, I I have no idea. Oh, I see so. It's, it's, a little low, it's probably low, yeah, because I don't feel any coolant in the uh, upper radiator hose either. Yeah, it's a little low. I can still see something in there. All right, as long as it's got some coolant in it, it'll be all right. What do you guys think? You think it's going to start? I'm I'm pretty positive it's going to start up, man, because it it, it, so. it said that it ran and it moved forwards and backwards on the listing. So, what do you do? Crank it up. Here we go. It's a little rattly. That might go away. Yeah, it sounds like the rattle's getting quieter. And it is charging. 14 volts, 13.8, so we could turn that off. It's actually running really well. Hey, it don't sound that bad. No. Not for a $175 car. No. Yeah, what do you guys think, man? Hey, can you pop the trunk? I see if there's anything in it. Where is it? Uh, this, this is all foreign for me. <laughs> That's why I love these European cars. Oh, the check engine light's on. Check engine oh, light okay. came on immediately. 143,000 miles on the odometer. Uh, there, oh, whoo! Oh, man, if he had not just been there and caught that trunk, that would have been my arm. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. This had the BBS wheels? Oh, uh, someone jacked the other one, bro. Oh, man. So, originally, it looks like this came with those BBS-style wheels, man. I love those, and they're expensive. To get yeah. these wheels are not cheap. Yeah. So, it came with some rags, a golf ball, and some tape. In my opinion, that's not a good sign. Where's the battery? CD changer? Maybe it's under here. I bet it's over here somewhere. Yeah, there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's got. Oh, look at that battery. Man, that's it's old. Battery too. Eight of 2011. God, look at all those fuses and everything. Okay, well, uh, being a 2011 battery, <laughs> that's going to need to be replaced. I guarantee you that battery's no good. I don't know, man. It, it's a donated car. I didn't pay. You get for it. Yeah, three hundred and five dollars out the door. Yeah. It's already running. If it drives down the road, and I should put it in gear just to make sure. It's got good brakes. Reverse, right into drive. Might be good. The pixels are dead on the radio. Um, I wonder if the air conditioning works. Hey, give us some gas. Probably need to change the oil. Yeah, I'm sure the oil needs change. 
back windows don't work. Yeah. Nope. That window barely works. The, dr barely works. the driver's window works. <laughs> That's the only window that matters. Man, this is good oh, deal. it's trying to die. That battery is so dead. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to let this thing sit here and run. I'm gonna see if this air conditioning works here. I'll bet it doesn't. But we'll see. We'll see if the compressor kicks on. Not that it's really important at this point. What's important right now is that the... Did it? Boy. <laughs> this car is sketching me out already and I gotta drive this thing home. No, I don't know. We'll go. It's got power steering. I'm sure all of you know that the worst thing you can buy is a cheap European car. Like that's like the apps. There's no such thing as a cheap Mercedes, a cheap BMW. If you buy it cheap, it's going to cost you in the long run. I don't see the compressor kicking in. Nope. There's the compressor right there. There's the clutch. And it is definitely not kicking in. The engine's getting nice and warm. And I've actually got the European coolant for this at the house, so... I guess we'll shut the hood. What do you guys think, man? What What do you think? I know you would not have bought this, right? No, I wouldn't buy it. But, you know, everyone <laughs> say I buy only GM. I mainly buy GM cars, but hey. I, it's, hey, if I knew it ran like this, yeah, I probably would have bought it. For yeah. That, for that price, yeah. 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 I'm on a GM strike right now yeah. because of my Corvette. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because of the way I was treated, I'm kind yeah. of on a, uh, yeah. a middle finger to General <laughs> Motors right now. Yeah. Not to worry though, guys, there may be a C8 coming in the future. Yeah, maybe. We were just talking about it. <laughs> hey, that's going to be good. What color you go with? It's going to be red. red. I love oh, that yeah. torch red. I've only had one Corvette that wasn't torch red, and yeah. that was my C4. It was a uh, polo green. I call it money green. Oh, okay. It was dark, real dark green. Okay. Hey, you want me to move it, move it around for you? For you to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll let, we'll let him move it. Right here instead of all the way down the road. We'll see. We'll see what it does. The engine does sound a little rattly. Sounds a little rattly. Uh oh. That don't look good. He he doesn't look like he's happy. Well, it's moving. It's moving. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Transmission problem? It seems like... It seems like it's not getting all the power. So it might need a... Tune up or either tune up, it like it don't feel like it's getting the full throttle. When I push it all the way down, it feel like it's it'll it'll catch up to speed, but it feel like either it's also out of gas. Oh yeah. And I'm watching that temperature gauge because it looks like it's creeping up too. Yeah. This thing might have been like a, this may be a bad deal. Yeah. <laughs> this may be a bad deal. <laughs> Here, let's let let's get in it and move it real quick. Where the hell is the door handle let's we'll see what it feels like yeah, yeah take it and maybe the transmission yeah let's see i'll turn this off there we go yeah oh no that's the transmission that's the transmission yep that's definitely the transmission so that's probably why the check engine light came on immediately I'll put it in first no yeah she's weak oh crap it's in limp mode it's in limp mode okay damn man <laughs> isn't that just my luck yeah, she's in limp mode, guys. Oh, 
So, the real question is, can we get it home? Can we drive it home without running into the Tesla? Yeah, reverse is strong. Reverse is real... Oh, it just died? Son of a... <laughs> yeah, it died. It's, it died on me. And I don't think the trunk is going to pop now either. Okay, this one's going to be fun to get back to the house, guys. I'm going to try to get this thing fired up again, and then we're going to try to get it home. There goes Lucky's Wheels and Deals right there, guys. All right, it's time to get this thing. Oh, you're kidding me. Is it overheating? It is. It's getting hot already. No, it just shifted. It just shifted, and it fits. it's overheating. I literally just got on the damn road. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're gonna have to, uh, or wait, no, it's, it looks like maybe it's trying to cool down. No, I, I don't know what it's doing, man. Uh, maybe the cooling fans aren't working. It is shifting. Okay, I'm gonna try to get some air running through the radiator and see if that cools it down enough to uh, get that temperature gauge to back off. If not, we're going to pull over on the side of the road. Come on, old girl. I know some of you right now are just like, oh my god, I can't believe you're driving this. I also noticed the speedometer doesn't work. And it does not look like she's cooling down, guys. I don't have any water with me. That's my stupidity. I should have brought some water. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to pull this over. Son of a gun! Wait, are these turkeys in the middle of the road? Do we really have turkeys in the middle of the damn road? We do. That's a damn turkey. That is a damn turkey in the middle of the street all right guys we just ran into trouble we got a tree limb down in the middle of the road today is not going very well i'm trying to find somewhere that i can stop this car and then drive to go get some water because it is not cooling down we have so far run into turkeys and a tree limb in the middle of the road we got to get this thing off the road and shut down like immediately. All right, it died in the middle of an intersection. Scoot back. It died in the middle of an intersection. Uh, I'm literally in the middle of the road <laughs> in a turn lane. Oh boy, what is all this goo shooting out of the radiator? lovely boy guys we're having a great day today aren't we <laughs> the battery is completely shot so once it dies it will not turn back on come on come on kick in we're in the middle of the we're in the middle of the damn road <laughs> and this door doesn't open hold on i forgot Door's got to be open from the inside. Ah, Jesus. Oh, this is fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to roll this window down so we don't have this problem again with opening the door. Yeah, she's hot. And there's nothing I can do about it right now. All I can focus on is uh, getting this damn car out of the middle of the road. Hopefully we can find a gas station, pull in. Please, please, please.
Oh yeah, she's real hot. God, I hate driving this car like this. I really do. At least we got some beautiful scenery, right? We'll get it, guys. We'll get it. One way or another, this car is going to make it to the house. Alright, guys. I see a gas station. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. I'm keeping my foot on the gas. Oh, she sounds bad. She sounds real bad. Come on, just get me into a damn parking spot. You know what I mean? Just get me into a parking spot. We'll figure the rest out from there. We got it somewhere safe. Let's shut it down. Yeah, no, we didn't have to. It shut itself down. Oh boy, that was that was fun. So obviously the car is extremely hot. I'm gonna pop the hood, try to help with uh, getting some cool air in here and help cool it off naturally. Obviously with it being this hot, you cannot dump water into it. If you don't already know, this car is so hot. If you were to start pouring water into it, you're most likely gonna crack the head. Um, hopefully we haven't damaged anything. Thankfully, I had Jessica following me in the Tesla. So the car was out of gas. We made it to a gas station. Uh, I'm going to guess this radiator is shot. Someone had a lot of stop leak in it. And you can see where it was actually leaking out um, right here. The radiator is cracked. So it's definitely going to need a radiator. Um, and that is assuming we didn't do any damage to it. So we're trying to get in here and, and get some water. I was going to buy some water and... Uh, this store is permanently closed. I don't know if you can see inside, there's nothing left in here. It's all gone. There's nothing in this store at all. Now the gas station side, the pumps work so you can get gas, but the store itself, there's nothing inside the store. And I've checked both sides, both sides completely empty. There's nothing in there. I was hoping maybe the water was on, the water shut off as well. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, I hate doing it. I hate leaving the car somewhere, but we are gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna sit this like right here. I'm not gonna close the hood all the way, but I am going to uh, do like that. You know what else sucks? Is the key to this car is wrapped around the steering wheel and I, it's made out of metal. So this isn't like one that I can just snap off, I don't think. The battery is dead. Again, actually I can, I can get this off, thank goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna get this key off. There's a secondary key right here. I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna get my GoPro mount. Um, what the hell is this? What is that thing? Uh, okay, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is not fun, guys. Not fun at all. Let's go find some water for this thing and let it cool off. All right, so we managed to find a few gallons of water down the street. Now, you never want to pour water into a hot car. Now, as you can see, we've left it here for a while. It's no longer smoking and steaming. So it's had an opportunity to at least cool down some. Boy, this door handle missing really sucks. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start it up. Oh, you hear those lifters rattling, man. That's not good. Temperature has gone back to normal. But I can guarantee you she's still warm. So with it running, we will go ahead and start adding coolant into the reservoir. Hopefully I get more into it than I spill. Yeah, I can see it steaming out the other side. This radiator is busted. Look at that. Oh, wow. Step back. She's a gusher, boys. Yeah, she's still real hot. Real hot. That radiator is just busted all to hell. Now, this steaming and smoking will subside eventually once the engine starts cooling down. Woo! Oh, yeah. She is pissed. Like, she is so pissed off right now. It is not even funny. And this is normal, guys. She She's hot. A little bit of volcanic action going there, man. 
Uh, like I said, this will subside as the engine starts cooling down, which obviously it's doing better now. It's not doing its volcano thing at the moment. There are air pockets in there and the water is starting to get into those air pockets, which builds up pressure and causes this like volcanic explosion. Here it goes, here it goes, here she goes. Yeah, it's circulating. Woo! Oh, she is pissed. Look over here, guys, look at this. Man. Okay, I'm just gonna continue adding water and trying to cool this, uh, cool this old girl off. And we'll come back when we figure out if we can drive it safely or not. Oh, here she goes again. Yeah. She's angry. Let's poke her with a stick. It's probably not a good idea. Definitely gonna need a radiator at a minimum. We definitely need a radiator. Crazy thing too, I don't hear any cooling fans, like external fans, other than the uh, one driven by the water pump. Okay guys, so we moved to a gas pump. We have hot heat coming out of the vents. That's a good sign. The temperature gauge is back at normal. That's a good sign. The gas gauge is below empty. So we're definitely gonna fill up. This heat is good and hot. It's running well. The engine isn't ticking or tapping anymore. So let's go ahead and fill it up. Make sure it's got a full tank of fresh uh, premium gasoline in it. I guess that sits right there, okay. Pay with a credit card. I'm not gonna let y'all see my card number. Sorry guys. All right, so we're gonna get non-ethanol top tier gasoline. Okay, put that in there. Let's choose 91 for $1.99 a gallon. And let's get this thing full of some fresh, come on now, pump won't stop itself. Good to know. So, so when it's full, we're gonna have to stop it or it's just gonna continue pouring gasoline all over the ground. Boy, today is just not my lucky day, is it? <laughs> all right, guys, let's fill this thing up and then we'll double check the coolant. All right, since it won't shut off, I stopped it at a 17 and a half gallons, $35. Should give it plenty of fuel. So in case this thing's been sitting for an extended period of time, uh, at least it's got some fresh gas in it now. Let's double check the temperature. Uh, the temperature appears to be doing okay. It's still where it needs to be. I know it's gonna be leaking some coolant or water at this point, but at least she's not boiling hot. I'm gonna move it over by the Tesla and I'm gonna let it shut off and cool down just a little bit more, make sure it's topped up with coolant and we're gonna get back on the road see if we can make the rest of the way back. All right, guys, moment of truth. Transmission is shifting. And currently the temperature is all right. So all we can do now is expect the worst and hope for the best. Comment below. What do you think so far? <laughs> this has been a, this has been one hell of a trip. Come back in a little bit and see where we're at. It's literally been like two minutes and here we go. It is overheating on us yet again. <laughs> this is, uh, this is getting to be too much, man. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, now I don't know whether it's overheating because there are air bubbles in the cooling system. That could be it. We may need to use the bleed down kit on it to actually fill it properly. Uh, it could have a head gasket issue. It could be a water pump failure. I don't know. All I know is that I have got to get this thing 
back to the house. I will say this about it. It rides like it's got flat tires. You know what I mean? Uh, square tires. The tires have obviously been sitting in the same spot for a long period of time. Uh, so there are flat spots on the tires, so it doesn't ride the best, but it does drive and it drives fairly smoothly aside from the vibration from the tires. The transmission shifts through the gears uh, seemingly properly. Uh, it actually runs and drives well. The battery is so bad that it will not take a charge over six volts. So it's running on half of a battery and the alternator at the moment. It, it's rough, it's rough. This one is gonna need at least a battery, at least a radiator and probably a thermostat. We'll see what else, but I mean, it runs and drives, it does. It is a running driving car that was $175, $305 out the door. It's really hard to get mad at the car for having some issues for $305. You know, what do you expect for a $300 BMW? It runs, it drives, it overheats like crazy, but, uh. Aside from that, man, look, we're here we go. We're cruising, gets right down the road, transmission shifts through all the gears. We'll have to hook a scanner up to it. And uh, it's not fully overheated yet. In fact, yeah, it's air bubbles in the cooling system. It is. Uh, I, I just felt the heat come back. It went from the, the heat got cold, which is a bad sign, and the heater just came back on. So the temperature gauge should start dropping a little bit, hopefully, maybe. Let's just get this thing to the house, guys. This is ridiculous. And we are rolling to a stop on the side of the road yet again. <laughs> this car, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> guys, this is killing me. This is killing me. She is dead as a doornail. Yeah, well, I mean, the, everything's on, but the battery is just so shot. <laughs> this, this is getting old real fast <laughs> thankfully i'm right down the street from the old house unfortunately though like we're still in the middle of the road <laughs> maybe it's time to consider see though she doesn't look nearly as hot as she did earlier remember remember earlier she was just in real bad shape um yeah the, the, it's actually not hot at all so well it looks like the coolant is gone again i'll put some more in it we'll fire it up yet again <laughs> maybe this time we'll make it the rest of the way let's see where the battery is sitting at right now oh almost 10 volts so the battery is getting better the battery is getting better that's good that's real good. So I'll put some more coolant in it, or sorry, coolant. I'll put some more water in it. And uh, holy, I think on this car, we'll need to do the, uh, sorry guys. On this car, we'll need to do that bleed down kit, the airlift kit or whatever on this. I think that's just something that's gonna have to be done. Oh, there she goes. Okay, so maybe she's a little hotter than I thought she was. Oh, okay, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of uh, it's a lot of steam, ain't it? That is crazy, guys. Yeah, this car got problems, real problems. It's a Beamer. What do you expect? What do you expect from a BMW, right? Let's we'll put the rest of that in there. That's all I got, man. So she's going to have to make it back on what's in here now. There's no other choice. Uh, we are literally right down the street from the old house, though. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing back over there. I'm going to attempt to put this back on. Well, I'll wait because it looks like it's going to volcano erupt on. Yep, there she goes. There she goes. This is so much fun, guys, let me tell you. Let's get this thing home. All right, guys. Looks like we're uh, we're back to the house here. Whew, 
what a journey. What a journey. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> the car is not happy. I'm gonna get this window rolled up. I'm gonna shut this bad boy down and let her just, she needs to cool off. Okay, so we've given it sufficient time to cool down on its own, and I proceed to do fill it with water. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh my God, you used tap water. I did, guys, and we're not gonna waste coolant or bottled water on this car. Now, here's what I found. There is a bleeder screw right here. Okay, this bleeder screw goes right here. This was dry as a bone. No matter how much coolant or water I put in the reservoir, there was nothing in this upper radiator hose. Now look, see that? Now there's water. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this hose on and build up some pressure. Now don't get me wrong, the radiator is still bad. But when I do this, you'll see the water coming out of here, okay? That displaces air in the cooling system, forces the air bubbles out so that the car can have adequate coolant flow air bubbles in the system will cause an overheating condition. I'm going to shut that off. And while it's still kind of pouring out like that, I'm going to put this screw back in it. Okay. And by doing this, we are sealing out the air bubbles. And now the car has coolant where coolant needs to be. So this was most likely the main issue for our overheating condition. It's got coolant here now, but the radiator is shot. Um, surely you can see over here, there's a lot of stop leak built up. We're gonna have to replace this radiator. I know a lot of people were probably thinking this is a blown head gasket. Uh, I am 99% sure we don't have a blown head gasket. I'm gonna leave this off and I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. I'll probably have to put the booster pack on it. I'm sure it's probably dead. I'm gonna try to save that battery. Yeah, she's completely dead. Here we go again. These European cars, uh, including Cadillacs, are very particular about the bleeding procedures. There we go. Look at that temperature gauge. That's what you wanna see right there. That looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heater on as well. We should have good heat through the system at this point. And we do, we do. The heat is real nice. Look at that temperature gauge dropping. You know why? Because coolant is actually able to flow properly through the cooling system now. And that's something it was not able to do before. So the, the vents are good and warm. The temperature gauge is low. And here's another thing I've noticed, guys. Is this a common problem? I believe this is an E39, right? Is this a common issue? Uh, the steering wheel, when I first go to start the car, tends to kind of lock and you gotta jiggle it. And, and after you jiggle it, it's fine until you shut it off again. But uh, we didn't test the radio. By it works. Insurance creators of the name your price tool. Choose from a range of... Wow. Okay, you know what else we didn't check? We didn't check the glove compartment. Let's see if there's anything in there because it's locked. Oh, no, it's not locked. It just doesn't open. Ugh, there it goes. We got an owner's manual. And check this out, guys. This is a BMW light. How cool is this little thing? It's a little light that I believe plugs into the glove box way, way back in here into the darkness. Maybe that's the glove box light. Oh, I don't know. It plugs in, it probably doesn't work, but that's a cool little little quirk or feature, as Mr. Demira would call it. It's running really well, guys. Running really well. But as you can see, that temperature gauge is creeping back up fairly quickly. I'm gonna pop the trunk, because I definitely wanna be able to access this battery. It, oh my goodness. This thing is, uh, this trunk is heavy and those uh, those lift supports do not work. I'm pretty sure this battery is no bueno, but uh, I'm gonna try to salvage it anyway. I don't even know if it's, uh, is it bolted down? No, it's not. Maybe just a little bit. No, it's not. So we'll be able to just uh, unhook it, pull it out, put it on charge. I'll gently sit the trunk down so that it doesn't close on us. It looks 
it looks i know it's dirty but i also just found out from some of you on youtube or on instagram you were commenting and letting me know that these rims are worth some money these are ac schnitzer i'm probably saying that wrong but i was told by a few people that ac schnitzer is actually worth quite a bit of money now, i don't know if that's true or not so if you know something about these ac schnitzer wheels slash rims comment below and tell me if they're worth anything i don't know maybe we scored maybe the rims on this are worth more than the car itself right uh i'm gonna go ahead and continue putting some coolant in it or some water i should say making sure that she's full i don't want to overheat it anymore i'll get on to fcp euro and amazon and ebay and everywhere else uh, you notice when i put water in it now it's not blowing it out but you could see you can see the radiator is absolutely busted somewhere over here. That's no good. That's no good. We've got we've got we've got water flowing through it now. That's a good thing. It's not appearing to want to overheat now. So I'll probably just do a complete overhaul on the cooling system. We'll probably do thermostat, water pump, radiator, and we'll get the coolant for it and everything. And uh, let me play with this a little bit longer. We'll come back with some final thoughts. Well, boys and girls, she doesn't appear to be overheating anymore, so that is good news. Uh, I did clean up this one wheel a little bit so you could kind of get a better idea of what it looks like there. What do you think? It's got a little rash on it right here, but nothing too bad. And it does say AC uh, Schnitzer. <laughs> I, I hope that's what it says anyway. You have to comment below, tell me what you think. There she is. Look, at the end of the day, guys, she made it home. Not happily, but she did make it. And I think cleaned up, we could really do something with this, assuming we can get it uh, running right without overheating anymore. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. Drop your comments down below. Tell me what you think. There seems to be some debate, maybe a little controversy over those wheels, whether they are actually... AC Schnitzer or not. Uh, these are 16 inch wheels slash rims. So I've been told they're probably a replica. I won't know until I actually take one of them off and we look at the back and see if it's got a stamp on the back that says AC Schnitzer. But either way, drop your comments below. How, how, how much of a bad deal could this possibly be when it's $175 for, okay, sorry. I always say $175 because that, that was my winning bid but $305 out the door. Yes, it needs a radiator. Yes, it needs coolant. We should probably do a water pump and a thermostat while we're in there, but it's a $300 five series BMW, an E39 that runs and drives. Now, beyond the fact that it runs and drives, um, <laughs> it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of little issues, lots of little things. We got a few lights on the dash and, and for a Beamer though, for a Beamer, seriously, the lights on the dash aren't that bad. We got an ABS light, we got an airbag light and the airbag lights always on, but we got an airbag and ABS and that, uh, that arrow, you know, the orange or the yellow arrow that's kind of curved. I don't know what they mean, like slip control, slide control, something like, I don't know exactly what that is, but that also could be a result of the battery. We got to get that battery charged up. And just so you guys know, uh, and we're going to come back in another video and clean this car up because it looks absolutely horrible. Um, I don't know how far we're going to go with this car either, but uh, I do have this ginormous battery. Now you can see how big it is. I mean, here's my hand, right? This is a very big, big, big battery. It's an, Ever, uh, an Everstart Max. What is it? An H8 from 8 of 2011. So obviously it's not in warranty uh, and it thinks it's charged. Yeah. In other words, this battery is not this battery is not going to come back to life, which I figured as much we're going to have to replace it. But um there's lots of little things, broken cup holders, um a ton of little things, but nothing that I would say is going to keep this car from running and driving being a reliable vehicle for somebody. So what we will end up having to do is definitely get this door handle fixed. Um, you gotta be able to get in and out of the car from the driver's door, that's a huge deal. We may see about getting these window motors and regulators fixed. It's kind of important to have windows that you can actually close without having to tape up. Um, aside from that though, uh, radiator, probably uh, water pump, thermostat just to be on the safe side. I'd hate to go through all the trouble of putting a radiator in it to find out that, you know, we should have replaced the thermostat. Should have, while we've got it apart, we might as well just go ahead and take care of it. Uh, the tires, 
we'll have to uh, we'll have to check back on the tires i think the tires do have flat spots i'm gonna once we get it back together i want to take it out on a proper drive the speedometer doesn't work why i have no idea uh, if any of you have any idea why the speedometer wouldn't work now everything else works all the gauges work it's just the speedometer that does not work even the miles work the uh, uh backlit display for the miles and everything seems to work properly on the gauge cluster it's just the speedometer we'll hook a scanner up to it next time and we'll find out exactly what codes we have in the car's computer system and what it's going to take to fix it but to be honest with you i don't know how far we're going to go with this car um, i definitely would like to be able to make some money off of it, like to make a profit so maybe we need to clean it up get it running and driving right and maybe we just send it down the road uh, let somebody else sort out and deal with all the other little minor issues. The main thing is getting it running and driving down the road where it's not overheating and it's not going to break down on somebody. Once we do that, we could leave it up to somebody else to fix it. We can send it down the road, make some money. If we want to lose some money, well, that's going to be real easy to do on a BMW. We'll at least need to put tires on it, two window motors and regulators, um, the door handle, lots of little bits and pieces probably an abs sensor or two new battery there's a ton that we could do if we really wanted to throw money away on this car so i'm gonna let you guys comment below what would you like to see us do with the car and i'll take that into consideration when i'm making my decision as to whether we want to just get it going make it reliable enough to get someone up and down the road they can fix it as they go or whether we want to go all the way and we can paint it and you know do we want to go that far with it guys just you'll have to comment below don't forget please if you enjoyed the content give the video a big thumbs up it, it's so simple guys it's a click just take your finger or your mouse and just click that thumbs up button that's it doing that helps spread my video around youtube believe it or not the more thumbs up the video gets the more youtube shares it with other people which helps the channel i am not a hundred percent sold that that bmw is something that we should go all the way with and really put back together um but i'm gonna let you guys a lot of you probably know a whole lot more about euro cars more about bmw z39s than i do so do me a favor and please don't hesitate to drop your comment and tell me what you think we should do with this car sell it get it down the road or take the time and really try to fix it and put a paint job on it. I'm gonna hear your comments. I can't guarantee you I'm gonna agree with you, but I will listen to your comments and I will definitely take that into consideration when it comes time to making that decision. So with that, I am going to get out of here. I truly appreciate all of you for watching. Again, I know things are crazy. It's kind of wild out here, but it, it's always good to have family and have friends. As long as you've got at least one of those, I mean, you should be feeling pretty good right now because there's a lot of people out there that don't have any. And big shout out one more time to Lucky's Wheels and Deals, man. It was cool meeting him out at the IAA auction today. Big shout out to him. Go check him out. His channel link will be in the description below and in the comment section. And you can follow him on Instagram as well. I have links to both of those. Shout out to Lucky Wheels, Lucky's Wheels and Deals. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.